Good morning folks, interesting article here on how planets can get flung out of galaxies and become those rogue planets. Looking at the RSOE, a Swiss nuclear reactor was shut down yesterday due to a problem with the cooling system. They say all is well now. There are a number of large earthquakes on the Pacific Ridge and a little bit north and south of the Caribbean and Cocos Plates. That whole region should probably be on watch for the next week or so. The temporal variations just above zero hertz will not go away on the induction magnetometer. This means if we get any kind of significant space weather, it will produce a strong resonance atop that 2.2 line that you can just see faintly right there. Pulling up Stellarium, you might know that the evening sky is my favorite time to watch, and wherever you are in the world right now, just after sunset, the moon will conjoin Jupiter tonight. And if you happen to miss this one tonight, get out there tomorrow and watch the moon conjoin with Venus the next night. If it's clear, you know I don't think there's any better way to spend an evening. You can see these dark lines and spots here on the sun. They're plasma filaments and some small coronal holes. Each presents minimal threat right now despite directly facing Earth, but this active region down here on the southeastern limb is no joke. She's firing CMEs already and is almost turned into an Earth-facing position. To make matters worse, the Earth footprint lies atop this active region, just moved there this morning which officially puts Earth in a solar radiation storm warning. When flares occur on the footprint, we get particle flux. And flares like this are probably likely as this is a Zurich Class F region, very large, and it has the same polarity on the both uh, opposite sides split by the opposite polarity in the middle. That type of complexity makes it beta gamma, and in my mind capable of putting off those dangerous flares. That's the news folks, it's a lot to watch. Eyes open. Be safe.